Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review Episode 186. This one I'm reviewing the 965th episode of the anime Crossing Swords, Roger and Whitebeard. Now here's the thing when it comes to this episode. Like, in the case of several episodes of this arc, like, you had the title thing happening, like, you expect to see us. Oh, you can have Whitebeard and Goldie Roger basically crossing swords. You don't get that until the last minute of the episode. You're like, really? Like, <clears throat> excuse me. The episode starts off with Orochi. Yes, yeah, the first episode, her first half of the episode is kind of explaining how he became the Shogun. Some way. Where. We first see of how he got to being in the presence of the current Shogun. Which they kind of reveal that the person who's been sick as the Shogun is not the actual one. I'll explain that. So, you have Aruchi on the run because his grandfather attempted a coup d'etat. Well, he's still we have power struggle by trying to poison on the Odomino. Just so he can become Shogun. Yes, he had nothing to do with it though, and yet he is punished and they're trying to take him out for it. So, pretty much with that, they actually have that. Well, he just comes across like a small building in the middle of nowhere, and he comes across a woman who possibly is a relative. She doesn't confirm it, but it's not like a young woman. Oh no, this is old lady who apparently has got the clone clone from like, wait, is this the same fruit that Bond Clay has got currently got? Yes, I think it is. I think it's the same exact fruit. And my guess at some point this one must have died and he must have got the fruit at some point. That's possible to say the least, but who the heck knows. So... <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, basically she explains, okay, I'll help you become a shogun. You have, you, well, I'm going to have you eat this fruit in exchange. You must save money and buy but to produce weapons. So he goes, bunch of Namios, takes some money, and then eventually, after you get enough money, he said he goes to the capital. Like, okay, let's go to the capital and get more money that way. Let's convince the shogun, who seems perfectly fine. Have the woman pose as Odin. At some point, Odin must have left the country at this point. Either that or probably before that. So, he convinces the Shogun, oh yeah, this guy's like a brother to me. Can you take care of him? And I'm sure Shogun's like, okay. So, he stays there and he plots to take down the Shogun. Now, they explain in the episode why he hates this particular Shogun. Because it's explained that he could have been Shogun... If this one guy had not been born. Yeah, because they sort of had a succession problem who would become the next Shogun due to the fact that, well, the Shogun had no children. I'm thinking, wait, that's not possible. And how do you explain Odin? Well, they were explained that during the course of the crisis, he did eventually get a child. I'm like, what the heck took him so long to get a child? Who knows? And... That eventually continue the clan. And of course, well. So. Then we have where he's named Proxy in the place of Odin due to me away. And then in the half of the episode, we finally have Odin. We see the birth of Hitori, who is this beautiful daughter. Who in present day is smoking hot woman. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, she's a big courtesan. So. He's on his dawn white beard ship, and they come across it. They, of course, they're just like a typical day. Of course, after the birth of his second child, Momo looks like he's the same size he is currently, except he's got. President, he's got a little more hair than he does back then. I mean, he presumably, at this point, Momo must be too. And how do you explain how he's bald with, 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 with a top nut, with one of those little ponytail things? Yeah. Despite the time we made a time skip, he was freaking eight. And they come across an island. And you won't believe who's in this island. It's Gold Roger and his crew, along with Shanks and Buggy. And Buggy points out that after they beat up a bunch of 
Navy guys, like, like I only fight Sengoku or Garp, not you guys. And Buck is like, hey, Captain, bad news. Whitebeard's here. He's like, Whitebeard? Cool, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go say hi with my big swords. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, oh, yeah, Captain, there's a samurai running this way. He's like, samurai? Is that the samurai we've been hearing about? So he rushes out himself, and he briefly takes on Odin, and then here comes Whitebeard. Take him and that's at the end of the episode. Like, okay, yeah, something awesome. Yeah, Roshi's stuff was fine. There's nothing really wrong with it, just okay. I mean, it was nice to see the clone clone, clone for it again. But it was nothing really all that important, per se, but... All I did do was explain how he tied up to the throne. Excuse me, does not explain when he met Kaido? Yeah, at some point he met Kaido during his time skip. Alright. Now, in case you're curious, though, what this episode adapted from. This episode adapted from pages 7 to 17 of chapter 965 and pages 2 to 5 of 266. Yeah. So, maybe next episode. Well, Because I'm thinking this is the same fruit that Bon Clay... Yeah, this is the same exact fruit Bon Clay has. And I'm like... So, at some point, it had a different host. At some point. And apparently this woman died. Yeah, so she died like not long after the stuff basically happened in this episode. Yeah, but the episode of overall was really, really good. Alright, moving on to the newest episode of News Chapter Manga, which is Chapter 1006. First, we have this wonderful cover image of the Animal Pirates. Yeah, fantastic. It's a great color image. Yep. After you get past that in the blank page. The chap is called the Honorable Hanjuro the Flower. And then we see <laughs> Yamoto and, Sengu and Shibru just fighting their way to the Empires. Momo is still inside Yamato's clothes. Though I would not be surprised if he took the time to, to let's just say, touch or at least play with Yamato's chest because the guy, because this is an eight year old pervert. And of course, well. They're all battling the way, and of course, well, Yamato's like, like, like targeted. And Sancho's like, huh, no progress. Look at the moment, Shibu. Who's this young mass Yamato? Hey, you, which way is the sealed room? And he's like pointing to a direction, like, huh, oh, okay, so that'd be the opposite direction of Kinemon's group. What's that even more? Uh, which way? Is that way or that way? This way! And of course, the island is still floating to. The mainland of Wano. And of course we have Pespero, where it looks like he's pretty much wiped out the Mink tribe. Not kill the person, basically he beat them up. And she really wants to avenge, well, Pedro's death. And then we come to more brawling. Chopper still up a cure. And of course, Hajero the Flower. Well, he's been affected by this particular disease. So he basically beefs up to his, well, when he was when he was younger, with the bulky stomach. Like, how in the world is this is basically a physically fit person? I don't know, it's basically Blaine Lawano. So, everybody basically continues to brawling. And he pretty much just died. Yeah, he's, he's dying from this disease. So, he takes out some empires. And basically look back at the good times. You have... Queen uh, basically blasting his way through a bunch of people. 
Marco getting some action against him. And then the chapter ends with the death of... Parry death of Hydro. Yep, killing him off. Yep. I gotta say, really good episode. And I can't wait for next, next chapter's episode. <laughs> which will be chapter 1007. Yeah. So as of right now, like... It's still basically 41 chapters behind where the manga, manga's 41 chapters ahead, which is still good. Hope keeps it up. Yep. So, yeah. That's it for this particular view. Stay tuned for my next video, which will be My Hero Academia, then Baruto. That'd be pretty much it for today. Okay? See you in the video. Bye.